Hey Glam Fam, welcome back to another video. I am MUA Mommy for those who don't know. And if you're new here, please go ahead and quickly hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I'm excited to learn and grow with you guys as much as I hope you're excited to learn and grow with me. So today's video is going to be a little chit chat, get ready with me, but babes on budget style. So I'm going to be doing my makeup while just talking to you guys about random crap that probably doesn't even matter. But... I'm going to do it like a babes on a budget. So every product that I'm using today is under $30. I will have everything listed in the description box below along with their prices and any discount codes I might have. So if that's anything you guys are interested in, then keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off by priming my face. If I forget to tell you guys what I'm using or something, like I said, everything that I'm using is gonna be in the description below along with the prices. This isn't much of a tutorial, but more of a chit chat type thing again, but everything I am using is under $30 because I wanna be able to show you guys that you can still look amazing with cheap makeup and not necessarily cheap, but just fairly budgeted makeup. I always get a lot of questions from people asking, you know, what kind of high-end makeup they should be using if they want their stuff to look really cool. If they want their stuff to look really good. And my answer is, it doesn't matter how much your makeup costs you or anything. Your makeup can still look good no matter what the price tag is. And I can't stress this enough. It should never have to feel bad because you can't buy higher end things because if you do your makeup a certain way or whatever it can still look like you're wearing a high-end look hope that makes sense <laughs> So I've been wondering what you guys want to see from me in this channel. I know on my social medias I'm always asking you guys, you know, what the next video should be. I always put a poll or something, but I genuinely want to know what kind of videos you guys are wanting to see from me. And like I said a few videos back, it doesn't always have to be strictly beauty. It can be literally anything that you guys ask for it to be. Like seriously, it doesn't always have to be makeup or whatever. So any ideas that you guys might have have you know always feel free to put them in the comments message me on any of my social medias because my inbox is always open because I do want to create content that you guys are wanting to see I want to make that quality content for my glam fam so right now I'm just putting on some eyebrows Could y'all imagine if I just left my eyebrows like this? Like, let's make this the new trend, just outlined eyebrows. And they're probably not even even. My eyebrows are never even. And that's another thing you guys have to remember, eyebrows are not twins, they are sisters. But for me, a lot of the times they're not even friends. I struggle to my eyebrows still, still to this day. I don't need the comments, you know, telling me, oh, your eyebrows suck, your eyebrows are uneven. Believe me, you're telling me something I already know. My eyebrows are never perfect. They're probably never be perfect and that's fine because that brings me to my next point nothing in makeup that you do is going to be perfect like we are all flawed we all make mistakes that's why I usually keep in the mistakes that I make when I'm doing my makeup on camera for you guys because I want you guys to see that it's okay to make a mistake also I have been loving this brow tint from Ulta seriously this stuff has been amazing I'm in the medium shade I have one eyebrow done and I struggled that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eyebrow off camera so you guys don't have to painfully watch me struggle again. Okay, I'm back and that took me a lot longer than I wish it didn't. And I just realized that I forgot to wet my beauty blender. So I will be back again with a damp beauty blender. <laughs> oh man, I fail it like. All right, I'm back and my beauty blender is damp. So now maybe I can put some foundation on my shockingly pale face only to make it a little more pale but a little less you know what not sure where I was going with that but I have been loving this new foundation stick from Ulta lately 
So tell me, what are your guys's favorite foundations right now? I am always curious as to what like everyone else is using because I know I have my holy grail go-tos, but I want to know what your guys's holy grail go-tos are. Like it can be drugstore or high-end. I'm just really curious as to what you guys favor or if you guys use any of the same products I do. Let me know. So I'm actually getting ready because I'm going out of the house for once. I haven't been out of the house in a really long time. My best friend is taking me out to the club so I get to shake my booty a little bit. Very not well. I don't dance well. But I will have fun doing so and hopefully by the end of the night I'll be too drunk to even remember that I really suck at dancing. So I mean that's always a bonus, right? I'm still trying to get ready to the whole talking while doing makeup thing, but not really explaining what I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to talk about. And I'm trying not to explain too much on the makeup because it's not so much a tutorial, more of just like going out to the club tonight. I'm gonna look like a million bucks, but in reality only be wearing like $60 worth of product on my face. The key for me is to always look better than I feel. Not that that has anything to do with how much money I spend on it, but you know, it works. I am curious though, like what kind of makeup tutorials and looks do you guys want to see from me? Because I know on Thursday's video I'm gonna be doing a step-by-step -step makeup tutorial for beginners. So literally explaining like simple, easy, everyday makeup for beginners step-by-step, -step, literally self-explanatory exactly what I just said. I basically just like reformed my sentence to make a different sentence. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to say, but I also want to know what other kind of makeup tutorials you guys are wanting to see for me. If there's any looks you guys want me to recreate, definitely send those in. And then make sure that you send in who the original artist is, or even if you're the original artist, because whenever I recreate a look, I want to make sure I'm giving credit to where it is due. I don't want anyone thinking I'm jacking off their style. Set my face. I am a poorly pale person. I hate it. It doesn't matter how much I'm in the sun. I'll just burn and then peel and then go right back to being pasty white. I never tan and I don't self tan because I always end up looking splotchy like an Oompa Loompa and honestly that is not a cute look. I'm just stuck with being a pale white girl that's covered in tattoos. But I guess it works. I don't know what I'm doing. I just want to look cute tonight. Do da do da. All right, let's put some bronzer on this face because even though I am pale white, I do like to make it seem like I have some color in my life. This stuff smells so good. This is the Maybelline City Bronzer. It's like this. And, oh, oh my. And it smells really good. So much that I'm actually trying to snort it, apparently. I literally can't even explain what the smell is. It just smells delicious. I don't know. Maybe it's just me being weird. Who knows, honestly. Oh my, I may have overshot here. Don't worry, I will blend that out and pretend like it never happened. I will take another big fluffy brush and blend that out with some blush because that's a bit much. I usually don't do it like that. I didn't mean to put that much on. Anyone else ever kind of just mess up like that? Oh, come on. I am a hot mess and I don't know what I'm doing. I do know I'm gonna have to go back with a different brush and fix this. I went for a light bronzy look and I came out looking like I just rubbed a bunch of yummy chocolate all over my face. I have a big mirror behind my phone. That's what I'm looking at. Big mirror, pretty lights, moving on up, making money moves, poorly bronzing my face. Honestly, nothing new. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush such as this and fix my mud face. I'm gonna put on my blush. Hopefully that kind of blends out the mess I just made. 
You know what annoys me? I got these two palettes for free from Ulta and they took their time to name all of the shades, but they did not name the palettes. So don't be mad at me when in the description box I have these palettes here, but they have no name and no price because I don't know and I can't find the name or price anywhere. But I will show you what they look like. So the one I'm gonna use for my blush and highlight today is this one, pretty pretty. I'm gonna go in with, ah, what am I doing with my life? I'm gonna go in with this pretty blush color right here today, but I'm also gonna use this one as highlight. The blush is literally called Shimmer Rose Blush and the highlight is called Champagne Highlighter. Well, they went all out with the names here, but I'm telling you. So don't at me when the names and prices of these aren't listed because I don't know. It's also my first time using these two palettes. Hopefully the payoff is good because I'm trying to look cute tonight. Not bad. She's cute. She's cute. I'm not mad at the blush. It kind of helped fix the mud face mess I made. So I'm gonna do some eyeshadow and also in the same process trying to figure out what the hell I want to talk to you guys about because like I said I'm still I still suck at the get ready with me thing kind of. So if you guys would be so kind as to after watching this video put in the comments below what I should talk about when I'm doing these kinds of videos so I'm not just being nonsense. I need to prime my eyelids. Dancing to no music. Who is she? Honestly, I'm a hot mess. It's a wonder why I'm single because I'm literally just a giant mess. And because I'm a bitch, but that's a whole different story. Story time, I'm a bitch. The end. This palette so far has some pigment. Hopefully she works. Hopefully she doesn't have a lot of fallout because I did my face first and I don't like to ruin my pretty base with fallout. Oh, not bad. I am just taking a plain cream shade from the palette to set the eye primer. So I'm going for a pretty smoky eye look today with like a pop of like shine and then a red lip because smoky eye wouldn't be complete without a red lip in my opinion. Again, I could be talking out of my ass, but in my opinion, I think red lips are the perfect go-to for a smoky eye. Again, I could just be talking smack. Who knows? Well, this color's cute. Let's do a little bit of transition color here. Oh, cute, cute. Hopefully y'all can see the pigment. I'm really kind of just all over the place today. These colors are really soft, I'm not gonna lie. I think I want to do another Q&A, but this time with like different questions maybe, especially because now I've had my channel for a little bit and I do have more followers and subscribers now and I'm thinking about doing another Q&A video. So let me know what you guys think about that too. I'm just telling you guys to drop all sorts of different comments in the comment section because my comment section's been a little dry like the Sahara Desert lately. You guys have been leaving me hanging, not really interacting with me. Lately. I get a lot of interaction from my glam fam on Twitter, don't get me wrong, but here on YouTube, y'all need to start commenting more, even if it's just a simple hi or a simple Cheryl, you talk too much, or Cheryl, you're not talking enough. Leave some comments. Talk to me. I'm getting lonely. Ooh, this color's called Caramel. I'm gonna use that as my transition. I mean, um, not a transition color, just a pretty, you know what? I'm just gonna shut up again and just do it. Whoa, this palette is pigmented. I'll give it that much. Y'all like my pretty flowy shirt. Hopefully you guys can see. Wee, pretty flowy shirt. Don't mind the bruise on my arm, by the way. I'll talk about that in a minute. In case y'all haven't noticed, I'm doing a classic brown smoky eye. I'm not doing any black or anything because I'm going to the club tonight and I don't necessarily want black shadow on my face because I feel like it takes away from my pretty eyes when I want people to look at me when I'm dancing very poorly. Not that that made any sense at all, but whatever. So the fat bruise I have on my left arm is from my new birth control. I saw my doctor on Friday for my post-operation appointment. In case y'all didn't know, I did have 
have a surgery on the 26th of last month. Uh, not gonna go into detail, but I have to try out this new birth control bar that they put in my arm. And I have to try it out for three months to see if it works. And if it doesn't work, probably have to have a hysterectomy, which I'm not gonna go into detail about because I really don't want to get into much detail about it right now, especially when I don't know much myself. So. Let's pray this birth control works. And let's also blend out our eyeshadow because you need to be blended. You gotta blend like your life depends on it. Take a little bit of that color I used as the transition and like blend up here a little bit to be cute. I'm gonna deepen that brown up with a darker brown. This is pretty cute by itself though too. This palette's really pigmented and nice so far. I'm impressed. Ulta's coming from my money. Hopefully it's not too dark. That even pick up. Come on, get on my brush. Oh, when you accidentally pick up too much product. Or none at all. Hello. There we go. Just want to deepen that up. Make sure to blend. After I deepen the crease with this color, I'm probably going to go back in with the other brown I used to blend them. So they have a seamless blend from light brown to dark brown because you really don't want any harsh lines. But also because the dark brown is kind of taking away from the light brown I did. And I don't want that either. I want them to both have their moment to shine, you know? And I'm purposely leaving this part blank. So let me go back into that little caramel color and put my mirror backwards because that's really going to help. I'll bring some of that back right here. Don't worry, again, we will be blending because blending is important. going to blend those together and then probably go back in with that transition shade again to mm. blend, baby. To take a little bit of a smaller fluffy brush and bring that up bring back that dark brown deepen the crease up some more this still ended up like a tutorial almost and i'm sorry i did not mean for that to happen guys i really just kind of suck at talking about my life apparently my daughter is currently camping with her dad and her bonus mom and i'm actually kind of jealous because i haven't been camping in a really long time Precision. Once again, ignore the fan noise in the background because it is hotter than a mother ever in this room. And it's like a bajillion degrees in Oregon, so. Okay, this cute color right here, I'm gonna pop that in here. Let's see, how pigmented is this? Hey, I'm gonna cut the crease with some concealer. All right, so I'm gonna take the same concealer that I use on my face. By the way, this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. It is amazeballs. I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna cut my crease. Okay, let's cut this crease, baby. Hopefully I don't not, ah, I'm getting concealer everywhere. Goodness gracious, Cheryl. And then you're gonna carve out that concealer, or I'm gonna carve out the concealer. I don't know what you guys are doing. You guys are probably sick of me being weird. I'm gonna do the same to the other eye and then I'm gonna take some of those browns again that I was working with to blend out the edges so they're not too harsh and then I'll be right back. So I'm back, I actually only went ahead and carved out the cut crease and then I took a little bit of that ah, cream shade and set the concealer and now I'm gonna blend these edges so they're not harsh. Harsh like my soul. I'm totally kidding by the way. <laughs> A little bit of blending does wonders. Really, really harsh, not too harsh. Blending is a best friend to everyone. Also, if you guys ever decide to create, recreate any of my looks, even looks that I haven't done on YouTube, like just looks on my social media in general, please, please, please tag me in them so I can see your guys' beautiful work because there's so many freaking talented beans out there. And honestly, y'all, this glam fam is the most beautiful glam fam ever. I love you guys. I'm also lost in my train of thought. I'm just 
lightly feathering it out with that color to make a seamless blend. And then very, very lightly gonna blend out this top part. I like when it's nice and cut, but still a little bit blended. So again, so it's not too much. And because there's no such thing as too much blending, unless you blend so hard that you take everything off. But you wanna blend just enough. I'm doing this with a very light hand. You don't wanna be too rough, because if you're too rough with it, then you have too much control. And then if you have too much control, it just doesn't look right, I feel. Okay, so I want to go in with this color right here. It's not super pigmented, so I'm actually gonna wet the brush first with some MAC Fix Plus. And of course, it's all the way up here. There it is, I got it. I'm gonna wet my brush with some MAC Fix Plus to make that color pop. Helps if I don't do it towards the fan so it comes right back at me. That was real smart. I'm just, <laughs> all right, much better. It's having a lot of problems with this color. I'm gonna use my finger for this color instead because I'm, even wetting the brush is giving me issues. So I'm gonna take my finger, get it right in there. This is just like not a pigmented color, but I'll make it work. I'm gonna do the same to the other eye and then I'm gonna blend the edges again just so it's that seamless blend between cut crease and smoky eye. Damn. So I'm gonna go ahead and argue with this color for a minute, fast forward it, and then I'll be right back. color pretty yes is it worth it no that was literally the hardest shimmer shade I've ever worked with in my entire life oh my gosh that was ridiculous let me wipe away some fallout here that was so hard to work with oh my gosh I don't think I'm gonna use that color anymore hopefully all of the other shimmer shades in this palette aren't like that because that was ridiculous it's cute but it wasn't were the irritation I just had to go through. But it's cute, it's there. So this look needs a little bit of highlight. I think I need to do a lower lash line first. This matte brown at the bottom I'm gonna do for the lower lash line. And then this color right here, that gold, I'm gonna do in the inner corner highlight and brow bone. Hopefully that doesn't give me struggles either. So let's do the lower lash line first. Literally no look is complete without an inner corner highlight and a brow bone highlight and if someone tells you otherwise they are a liar and you cannot be friends with them. Let's see how this inner corner color works. I really really hope. I'm not mad at it. It's not like in your face there, but it's there. Take my pinky and kind of press it in the cor inner corner as well. I really like my inner corner to just pop, but I think that's about as popping as I'm gonna get on that inner corner. <laughs> Drag it along under that lower lash line color a little bit, just to lighten it up. The eyeshadow itself is done. The palette itself, I'm not, I'm not impressed. I mean, I am, but I'm not. The colors are cute. They are there. The mattes are easy to blend. However, the shimmers, well, you guys saw the struggle I went just to create this cute little half cut crease moment. So you do the math from there. I'm gonna do some white water lighting, whatever you wanna call it. Does anyone here watch Orange is the New Black? I am on the last season and I'm like halfway done with it and I uh, I don't know how to feel. I'm on like episode eight now or something and I'm, I'm like trying not to cry because it's like the show is mind screwing me and like I'm not wearing a condom so I think my head's gonna get pregnant from all this mind budging it's been doing to me. <laughs> but what are some of your guys' favorite shows that I should check out? I'm not gonna wear a winged liner because this smoky eye is a little bit on the elegant side and I feel like a smoke, I, I feel like a winged liner might take it away, but I am gonna wear these pretty stunning lashes. This video is not sponsored by the way, but I do have a discount code with these lashes. So this is Lennon Lashes. I am on their PR team. I absolutely love and adore them. So go ahead and just like gawk at those for a minute. I know they be stunning.
And so I'm gonna wear the Style Miami today. These are so pretty for an everyday subtle natural lash. These lashes, they last forever. I'm telling you, this is like my 20th time wearing them and they're still in perfect condition, you know, because I clean them too, you know. You gotta make sure you're taking care of your lashes, otherwise they ain't gonna work. Now I do have a code. It is M-U-A Mommy, so M-U-A-M-O-M-M-Y, all in caps. It will save you some money off your lashes. I don't earn commission off these, just so you know. I just have a code because I want y'all to experience these beautiful lashes for yourself and they're super cheap and then even cheaper with my code and all of my affiliate codes are in the description box below I just want y'all to love these as much as I do and again I don't make commission off of my code for the lashes just so y'all know I just want you guys to experience the beautiness of these lashes I got my lash let's pop it on These are so comfortable too. Like I forget that I'm wearing lashes when I wear these in any of the styles too. Like even the dramatic styles that I love, by the way, I forget that I'm wearing them because they're just so comfortable and lightweight. And, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, wow, please ignore that little giddy child in me. I just love lashes and I love Lennon lashes and I love Audrey, the owner of Lennon lashes. And if you guys aren't following her on any social medias yet, you need to go ahead and do that now. So I will have Audrey linked below as well as Lennon lashes. Y'all see how friggin' cute these are? Mm-hmm. No lash, lash, no lash, lash. Everyone needs lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the other one on and then I'll be right back. All right, lashes are on. I'm gonna do my bottom lashes and then do another coat on the top to blend them in. But then I just remembered that my mom got me this hella cute picture to put in my little beauty area here. Like, check this out. Like, how cute is this? Seriously, my mom knows me so well. Like, she's the best. Love that. It's like literally the cutest thing ever. Do your parents like ever just surprise you with random things that make you feel better? Especially since I've been like really rough year and really rough month, even though like we're only in the beginning of August, like it's been rough. So it's nice to have nice things happen to you when so many bad things keep happening. So I'm really happy to be going out with my best friend tonight. I really need it. I need to just let loose and forget about all bad things that keep happening because it's not good to constantly focus on the negative and I seem to be doing that a lot lately and it's not healthy something just fell behind me and now I'm absolutely mortified because I don't have any idea what it was and now I'm scared that something's gonna jump out of me I watch way too many horror movies it, like I love horror movies but I think I've like permanently like petrified myself honestly I just completely lost my train of thought and I don't even know what the next part of my makeup routine is because I did my face first instead of my eyes today so I think I have myself ass backwards now I think it's time for highlight because I already have blush on I really hope this highlight pulls through because a girl needs a good highlight in her life I'm gonna go back into this little thingy here and use this champagne highlighter and pray to our lord and savior that it's cute because i like to be blinding to the gods because if the gods can't see you from your highlight then are you even highlighted oh it's not bad okay it's subtle but i'm not gonna break out one of my expensive highlighters because like i said this is a babe on a budget video everything's under 30 dollars here but i'm not gonna lie i wish i had more shiny highlight i'll just pack that on and make it look shiny all right no such thing as too much highlight if someone tells you that you're wearing too much highlight then you need to stop being friends with that person immediately never trust anyone who tells you you're wearing too much highlight those are the people you cannot trust I already did my lip scrub today. I did forget to do a plumper though, but you know, literally like my favorite part to highlight is tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. I don't know why, I just love highlighting this part good enough for me all right let's set this face fan ourselves out like we bougie and then do some lips huh let's do some lips classic red lip okay so i am gonna line my lips with a jeffree star cosmetics lip liner but that's only because i don't have any other lip liners but you can line your lips with whatever liner you want this is babes on a budget just pretend you know but i'm using the androgyny lip liner because i'm gonna do a red lip but since i'm actually wearing a lipstick today and not a liquid lipstick i know that's very rare i want to line my lips and i overline my lips i'm aware that i overline my lips uh, you know I can't afford filler so I'm gonna keep overlining my lips until I get filler and then when I get filler I'm probably still gonna overline my lips. It's a way of life. It happens. I 
I know I look crazy right now, but I just realized I lied. I do have another lip liner. I have one from Ulta, and then I have one from Kylie Jenner. And I just remembered that. But you know, there's no going back now. I know this looks silly, but this is how I do my lips. And because the lipstick I have is a bright red, and I do want to tone it down to like a darker red, this is how I'm doing it. You just gotta trust me. So I'm going to put this lipstick on, and then I'm gonna talk about it, because if I keep talking like this, y'all gonna start laughing at me because I look like a hot mess. So I will talk about this lipstick in just a minute after I put it on. All right, so we have our red dark lipstick on. It's a little vampy and I love it because it makes me feel fierce. This lipstick, this beautiful piece of lipstick right here is from a company that I'm also affiliated with, Kalan Cosmetics. This is the shade Poison Apple. And I am also gonna put this beautiful red gloss over it. This is their Lip Slick in Clearly Red. I have a discount code for Kalan Cosmetics. Also, it's all lowercase, M-U-A-M-O-M-M-Y, M-U-A Mommy, all lowercase. I do get commission off of Kalan Cosmetics because I do want to be full transparency with you guys. I love these lipsticks and again I'm going to point out here that one I am not sponsored. Two I will not ever recommend a product to you guys that I don't love myself. I'm not going to use something that I don't like because then it's going to make me feel like crap and then it's going to make me look gross. That's not my thing. So again I will have these linked below. So I'm going to put this bright red lip slick over this dark red cherry and see what happens. You ever feel like a bad bitch when your lips are done up like this? Mmm. Oh my gosh, their stuff smells so good. I don't know how to explain it. Girl, I cannot with this. I am feeling myself. I'm sorry. I would do me. Whether you do me or not, that's not important. I would do me. I feel like freaking rock star. You can tell I'm feeling myself like there ain't no shame in my game. So that was my little get ready with me babes on a budget. Like I said, everything under $30. I mean, a lot of it's even under 20 to be honest with you. I think that is it. Let me show y'all my beautimous finished look. So... I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and maybe learned a thing or two or maybe you decided that you just don't like hearing me talk and you'd rather do like a voiceover tutorial. That's fine. Always put ideas for videos in the comments down below. Thursday's video is going to be an in-depth tutorial makeup for beginners. So like a makeup for beginners in-depth tutorial. I've been getting a lot of requests to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys. And then my inbox is always open. My DMs, my Twitter, whatever. It's all open and I am here for you guys. So if you have any questions about makeup or if you have any suggestions or if there's certain things you want to see me do, please don't hesitate to message me. I'm not that scary and I'm really not that mean, I promise. I love talking to you guys. I really do. And I love it when you guys interact in the comments below. So please make sure you are doing that. It makes me feel better when, you know, I have comments to reply to and stuff because I, I love you guys. I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't for y'all. So please don't ever hesitate to slide in my DMs, but not like that. Single, not looking. Sorry, ladies and gents. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember to stay strong, stay beautiful, and love yourself always. Bye, glam fam.